Hey guys, today I am doing the lip product addict tag and um, some of the big beauty gurus, two of the big beauty gurus um, created this tag and did a video on it a couple, um, like a week ago maybe. And I am of course definitely not cool enough to be personally tagged by them. Um, but I just thought it was a really, really fun and informative tag and I could tell you guys about some of my current favorite lip products. So there are eight questions and as I go through the questions, if I am talking about a specific lipstick or lip color or whatever, I will be wearing it while I discuss the question. So if you pay attention, my lips are going to change throughout so I can show you guys um, what it really looks like on and, um, and then tell you about why I like it. Um, so uh, yeah, let's jump in. Okay, question number one is favorite balm or treatment? I will forever be a die-hard Burt's Bees lover. I love the peppermint, I love the tingle, and if my lips are truly feeling chapped and miserable, I always, always, always grab my Burt's Bees. My other favorite balm, if I either don't have access to this one or my lips aren't really like painfully chapped, are the is the EOS lip balm and I got the one in sweet mint it's the only one I have um, but I just they're kind of fun to apply because they're in this weird egg shape although you used to be a ball but I've kind of flattened mine out by using it um, it tastes really sweet it smells like um, gum or like a peppermint candy and uh, they're just they're kind of fun and it's super moisturizing and it doesn't tingle as much as the Burt's Bees so if you don't like the Burt's Bees because of the tingle try the sweet mint EOS balm if you want the pepperminty lip balm because this one does not tingle like the Burt's Bees. Question number two, jumping right in with the good stuff with best eye-catching red. My favorite, favorite red for the last like six months has been Bites Cranberry and I got it in a holiday set so it's the mini one and um, when I go through this I will definitely be purchasing a full size one because I just love this red on me and I've you know put it and seen it on other people and it's just so so pretty. Um, it's in a stick form. It's somewhat it's not like glossy, but it's moisturizing. It's just a beautiful deep cranberry red color. That's the name cranberry. Um, it's not too orange and it's not, you know, too blue and it's not too matte. It's just the perfect, perfect red in my opinion. I love it and it's one of my favorite things to put on my lips. And uh, side note, Bite Beauty is my favorite lip product brand all together. They're 100% food grade products and so they are okay to eat which is good since they're going on your lips and you're gonna eat them. So best eye-catching red cranberry from Bright from Bite. Alright part one of question number three is best luxury. And for me, best luxury is Bite Beauty's Lip Cashmere, and the color I'm wearing is in Sancerre, San, Sancerre, Sancerre, I don't know, it doesn't look like English to me, um, but it's just this beautiful, beautiful um, berry red with, um, you know, it's definitely in the tube, it looks more pink than it does on my skin right now, um, but it's, you can see it's just this very, 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 very deep berry pink red color. And this is one of my favorite colors, but I love this formula. It is matte, it is smooth on the lips, it's a little bit drying, but all matte lip products are, um, and it just, it smells sweet. I love the way the Bite products smell. Like I said, they're my favorite lip. I thought I just smeared lipstick on my forehead. Um, Bite is my favorite lip brand and um, these lip cashmeres, they are very pricey. Um, I don't remember exactly how much they are. I'll list it down below, um, but they're really, really beautiful. My only, only, only complaint about this product is this wand is kind of... Um, it's really flexible and kind of flat. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of makes application hard with such a deep color and such a matte color. Um, you have to be really precise around the edges and this wand is a little bit hard to get them to be really precise around the edges, which is something you need for um, 
such a deep, deep, beautiful color. <laughs> So question number three is two parts, and the second part is best drugstore. And that for me, for sure, at least right now, goes to the Maybelline Elixirs. I am wearing the color Fuchsia Flourish right now, which is just this beautiful pink. Um, it's just, I love this pink. It's bright. These are pigmented. Um, this wand, I really, really like the shape of this wand. It makes it really easy for application, and they're really smooth and really, really creamy feeling and super pigmented, and they're like a gloss and a lipstick mixed together. Um, the other color I have here is Petal Plush which is just a really beautiful um, pink nude. Uh, this brighter one, the Fuchsia Flourish, the one I have on my lips, stains my lips too, which is nice because even once the gloss has worn off, if I've eaten or something like that, the color remains on my lips. That doesn't happen with the nude one because it's such a light color, but these are just, they have a ton of colors. They're super, super comfortable to wear. Um, they last a long time for being like a liquid lipstick gloss type thing. I don't know what they technically supposed are supposed to be, um, but yeah, that's the Maybelline Elixirs and they're my favorite drugstore uh, lip product right now. Okay, this question is best MAC lipstick. Um, and for that one, it has to be Cream Cup from MAC. It's on my lips. And it is just, to me, the perfect nude. I don't like a super like deep or tan nude because I'm fair skin and it just kind of makes me look dead. And so Cream Cup is just this beautiful pink nude. It's the perfect amount of pink and um, to give you a little bit of color and just, you know, liven up your face with still being a nude. So that is my favorite MAC lipstick. Question number five is the most disappointing. Um, I think a big thing for being disappointing is if you've spent a lot of money on it. There's quite a few drugstore lip products that I've tried that just didn't, you know, work for me. They weren't great formula, weren't great color. You can't swatch them in the drugstore. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I've tried some drugstore lip products that I didn't love, but for it to be really disappointing for me is if I've spent some money on it. Um, so it's not like I spent a ton of money on these, but for me, the most disappointing is the Stila lip glosses. Um, I got the Christmas set. That's why I have so many of them. So, you know, I paid, I'm afraid I have lipstick on my teeth from switching all these lipsticks. Um, so they, uh, that's why I have so many of them. I hate, hate, hate this applicator. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like one of those little paint brushes at the top and you have to click the product up to get up into the brush. And I click and I click and I click and there's nothing in there. And then all of a sudden it comes oozing out and I now have way too much, but it's not like you can like suck it back down into the tube. And so I end up just like slopping lip gloss all over me and they are a little bit stickier than I prefer. I probably didn't give them all that much of a chance just because, you know, I tried a few and was like, I just really, really hate the way you have to apply these. And so I never used them and there went 30 bucks or whatever I spent on them sitting in a jar on my makeup table. I should probably give them to someone who will use them. Okay, question numero six is liner yes and no, and that is a big fat no. I probably should use liner, especially with colors like this um, Bite Beauty Lip Cashmere, um, but I just, I don't want to spend my money on them. I always, you know, you can buy a liner for 20 bucks or whatever, or even at the drugstore for five or six, or you can get another lipstick. And so I always get another lipstick, simple as that. And question number seven is best gloss. And for me, that definitely has to go to the NYX Butter Glosses. You guys know how much I love these. I talk about them constantly. Um, I have the color Peaches and Cream on my lips right now. They are so smooth. They are not sticky in the slightest. They're just really moisturizing, really comfortable to wear. They're not super long wearing, but they come in really, really pretty colors, a ton of really colors really colors, a ton of really pretty colors, and are just the most comfortable glosses to wear I have ever, ever, ever tried. And I've tried a lot of glosses. Okay, and the last thing is something extra. So I said to just 
throw in something else you want to talk about. So for me, a huge, huge lip thing is a good scrub. And I make my own scrubs using um, sugar and coconut oil, and I put a little bit of um, red food coloring to make it pink, just because that's fun. And I added like some vanilla extract and some, um, I think... I put pineapple or banana extract or something in there. Basically, it smells like a pina colada, and it tastes really good because it's coconut and coconut oil and sugar, and um, you can make it at home for a super, super cheap with ingredients you probably already have, and it works great. And so just a few times a week, I use this in the evening when I am um, washing my face and doing my whole night routine, um, and it keeps my lips soft and um, keeps the dry skin away and is super moisturizing because the coconut oil and I follow it up with a good lip balm or lip treatment for night and uh, it keeps my lips supple and enjoyable. <laughs> So that is it for the Lip Product Addict Tag. I can't remember the title for some reason. Lip Product Addict Tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun doing it and running and switching my lip color every time and trying to figure out, um, you know, which ones were my favorites. It was fun to kind of narrow it down and truly be like, no, I really, really like this one better than this one or whatever. So it was really fun for me to do and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I will talk to you soon and I hope I spread a little sparkle into your day. Bye guys.